Today, day, chicos. Last night. In my case, um, uh, no. one day, um, the, uh, one day good evening, think, uh, so, good evening, everybody. Good evening. Good good evening. evening. Welcome. Thank, thank, you. thank you for being patient and waiting for me. Don't worry, teacher. How are you today? How are you this evening? I have a, a day off. <laughs> oh, that's nice. <laughs> oh, yes. good, good. Did you do anything special? Mm, only watching novels, Koreans. Oh, we call them soap operas. <laughs> Yes. Korean soap opera. Yes, I, yes, I am. I, I, I like the BTS and other groups. Oh, other bands. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we we call them Korean soap operas or K um K soap operas. Yes, oh, um, I, I like the all all, all culture the Asians. Oh, okay, okay. So Japanese, I, Chinese, I'm guessing, Korean. I'm what? guessing that you want to visit one day, um, Asia. Oh, I, I hope, I yeah. hope. Yes, I, I'm sure one <laughs> in day. In the future, huh? Yes, in the future. Yeah, of course. <laughs> you know. Anything is possible. I always say that if you really want something, it's possible. It's always, always <laughs> possible. You just have to uh, focus on what you want. Yes, I I need a focus on in my in my study, in my works. <laughs> yes, I know, I know. Right, right now you, yeah, right now you may not. Um, have that and and you don't need like you need to focus on other things but sooner or later you'll be able to to do that so yes just thanks, be patient yes thanks for your divine advices <laughs> you're welcome okay so guys um i'm sorry because i i had to restart my computer because my zoom was not working so Right now, um, my the list of attendance is not ready. So what I'll do instead, I'm going to start with um, the the actual class. Okay, if you don't mind, we'll start with that. Okay, is that okay? Okay. 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 And then we'll, I'll I'll take attendance as soon as my 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 list opens up. Okay, so. Can everybody see this? Yes, yes I, I see, see it. it. Yes, I see. Yeah, everybody sees it? Yes, it's a, yeah. Okay, perfect. All right, so um, this is what we were looking at yesterday, right? We were looking at um, using the adverbs before adjectives, and we saw that the most... Um, a, yeah, the, the most, the highest one that we can use is extremely, right? So extremely means that something is very, very high. And then we have very, then really, then pretty, fairly, and somewhat. So basically this list goes like this, okay? So someone is small, the, 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 the lowest and extremely is the highest, okay? And what they do is they are able, they, these words, they express how much an adjective is, okay? So 
this the if you're using one from the bottom it's just a little bit but if you're using the ones from the top it's more okay does that make sense yes or no yes yes, yes. okay so what i'm going to ask you to do right now um, we're going to be doing this activity here. It says, match the questions with the answers. Okay. Actually, I'm going to make this a little bit. Just give me a moment. Okay. Okay, so we're going to be doing this activity here where it says match the uh, the questions with the answers, then practice the conversation. Okay, um, so you're going to be you're going to be matching a, these questions with these answers. Does that make sense? <clears throat> yes okay okay so i'm going to i'm going to send you this in the whatsapp group just give me a moment Hmm. Okay. Um, okay. So it seems like it's taken a little bit longer than I expected. So instead, so I'll just, I'll, I'm just going to have to um, share again the screen. Okay. So just give me a moment. Okay, so I'll give you a few a few minutes to match. Okay, so the first one says, what's soul like? Is it an interesting place? And then you're going to match. The other question is, do you like your hometown? Why or why not? What's Sydney like? <laughs> Yeah, I've never been there. Before. I've never been there. And have you ever been to Sao Paulo? Sao Paulo. I think yes, I have. It's um, extremely large. And crowded place, but okay. I love it. So it's we're go we're going to be checking the answers in a moment. Just I'm going to give everybody a chance in this moment okay. uh, to do it by themselves, and then and then I and then we will be able to check. Okay, so I'll give you about one more minute. Okay. 
Okay, are you guys ready? Yes, I finished it. You finished? Okay, all right. So, I think yes. Yes, okay, so let's check the answers. Um, so what's soul like? What do you think is the answer? Is C, uh, yes, it has amazing shopping and the people are very, pretty friendly. In that, that is. Um, good, it yes, is. exactly. Yes, it has an amazing, it has amazing shopping and the people are pretty friendly. This part right here would make sense because if you notice, there's a question here. And the question is, is it an interesting place? Because you're asking, is it an interesting place? Um, and that means that the answer is, is going to be obviously yes or no, right? Right, is it an interesting place? Yes, it is, right? So you're gonna say, yes, it has amazing shopping and the people are pretty friendly. Okay? Okay. okay. Any questions okay. about that? No questions? Okay, let's go on to the next part. Do you like your hometown? Why or why not? I think not really. It's too small and it's really boring. That's why I'm away. Right. Okay. So Just give me a moment, guys. Okay. So it says um, not really. It's too small. And it's really boring. That's why I moved away. Do you say, so notice again, we're asking a question of yes. You're asking if the person likes it. So that's why I said not really. So they don't really like it. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. So far, so good. Got it. Okay. All right, let's go on to the next one. We have, um, what's Sydney like? I've never been there. It's letter A. Oh, really? It's beautiful and very clean. It has a great harbor and beautiful beaches. Good. Oh, really? It's a beautiful, it's beautiful and very clean. It has a uh, great harbor and beautiful beaches. Good, very good. So you're describing Sydney. And then it says, um, wait just a moment. So we have here, um, <clears throat> so you are describing, because this is, you're describing Sydney. And so you're saying that it's beautiful and clean. Okay. And then it says, have you ever been to Sao Paulo? And the answer, this one's the most difficult one. What's the answer? Is the letter? Letter B. Yeah, very good. Letter B. Yes, I have. It's an extremely large and crowded place, but I love it. It has excellent restaurants. So here, um, it's very easy to figure it out because it says, have you ever been to Sao Paulo? So the auxiliaries have. And here we have, yes, I have. Okay. Does that make sense to you, everybody? Yes. Yeah. Yes. The same. Okay. Do you have any questions? You can ask any questions at this moment. No? Okay. Now, I want you to notice also the use of the adverbs. For example, notice this is here. It's very clean.
No. Not is necessary, but we use always. No, not always. But it gives us, it, this one, these words are fun because they give us um, a range. They, they give us a way of describing how much it is, right? Because we can say that it's very clean or yeah, somewhat clean, right? And so we are being more descriptive, right? Or we can say um, it's an an extremely large and crowded place. So we can have a better idea, right? How large it is. It has um, an amazing shopping and the people are pretty friendly. No, oh, pretty friendly. It's too small, too small, way too small. I, it's more than is needed and it's really boring. So it, it shows us a little bit more description, let's say. Does that make sense? Does that make sense, everybody, or not really? Any questions about this? About me, no. Okay. All right, guys. So in that case, I'm going to move on to the next part. Um, okay, which is conjunctions. Conjunctions are words that we use to connect ideas. Okay. So um, there are some conjunctions that you're probably already very familiar with. And some that are going to be new. Okay. So the first one. Just a moment. Okay. So the first one is um, the word and. So this one you're probably very familiar with. It's an exciting city and the weather is nice. So the word and is a word that we use to connect additional ideas okay so these so and is for additional ideas i use a connect connection a and yeah so and give tells me that i'm going to add to the idea so it says it's an exciting city. So that's good. It's exciting. And the weather is nice. So that's it's adding more to that. It's adding um, to the fact that it's an exciting city. So two, two very good, two very positive ideas. One, exciting city. Two, weather nice. So additional idea. Um, over here it says it's a it's a big city but it's too big so here the word but is actually contrasting okay so but we use it for a contrast okay so yes it's a big city which is um it's 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 um Let's say it's a, it could be considered a bad thing, right? It's a big city, but it's not too big. So you're contrasting, you're saying, yes, it's big. That's not a good thing. But the good, the good thing is that it's not too big. It's not more than necessary, more than I want. Does that make sense? Okay. Yes. 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 Any questions okay. about this? No. No? You sure? Okay. All right. Now, 
we have fancier words. So these ones you're, pre you're pretty much familiar with. I'm sure that you're familiar with. Now, these one says, it's a big city. It's not too big, though. It, it's a big city. It's not too big, however. So these are the same as but, okay? These like are like a fancy but, let's say, okay? So we can say that these are fancy. It's it's um sophisticated. It's a, a more sophisticated but. Okay. So though is also contrast. Just like however is also a contrast. So if I say it's a big city, it's not too big though. How do you say, how would that say, how would you say that in Spanish? So oh, however is como sea, but mm. though, I don't know. Okay, let's start with the first one, with though. It's a big city, it's not too big though. How would you say that in Spanish? Aunque. Okay, but give me the whole is, sentence. Es una gran ciudad, pero no es tan grande como sea. Algo así. Um, yeah, it's okay. So, it's a big city. Es, um, es una ciudad eh, grande. Um it's actually um though um just give me a second how we can let me see if i can find a, a, a more appropriate word in spanish or maybe Es, es una gran ciudad, como sea, no es tan grande. Um, I would say it would it, it'd be more like aunque. Okay. okay. So, so teacher, uh, what is a big city? Aunque no es muy grande. Exactly. Gran ciudad. Yeah. Yeah, okay, so yeah, exactly. So I would say, es una ciudad grande, aunque no es mu demasiado grande. Okay, mm -hmm. so um, you're saying, you're Got contrasting, it. yes, it's big, it's big, but it's not too big. And you're using the word though, which means more like aunque. Okay, so it's it's a fancy but it's more sophisticated okay and um however this one it would be more like sin embargo so it's a big city it's not too big however it's like saying es una gran ciudad sin embargo no es muy grande oh no perdón sin embargo no es demasiado grande Okay, so again, it's a fancy but, so very sophisticated. Okay, now what you probably will notice is that it's possible to put these words at the end, different from Spanish. In Spanish, you can't do that, right? But in English, you can. You can put those words at the end. Only The only difference is that you're going to be um, putting a comma. Okay, so if you notice, I have a comma here. Let me see if I can, if I can highlight it. Okay, so you probably can see a comma here. Okay, so this comma separates those two contrasts. Okay, so yes, you can put it at the end as long as it's as it's um, as separated by a comma. Okay, any questions about that?
is clear for me. Only thing I do uh, is uh, why the, the conjunction is, uh, is not before the, the, the standard is in, in the end. Sorry, I, I didn't quite understand your question. Could you repeat that again? Uh, why the conjunction is in, no before the center, before it is not before. Uh, uh, you mean why? though and however? Yes. Uh, okay, yeah, okay, so there, there are two, there, there are two um, positions that you can put, okay? In English, you can either put however, and and though at the end, like in this case, like in these sentences, or you can put them at the beginning. So I could also say, though, blah, 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 and, that, and then say, though it's not too big. Okay. Yes. This or is my I could question. say, however, why is this? Mm -hmm. it's not too big. So I could choose. I could choose to put it at the beginning, or I could choose to put it at the end. I I'm going to decide on that. Okay. So the two the two ways are valid. Does that make sense, Luis Alfredo? Uh, the the two forms is okay. Yeah. It's called. Uh, okay. Yeah, the two forms are okay. Okay, gracias. Thanks. You're welcome. Anything else? Any other questions? No? Okay, so what I'm gonna ask you to do, you're gonna be working with a partner, you're going to be um, deciding what is the best answer for these sentences here. So for example, so choose a correct conjunction and rewrite the sentence. So um, Taipei is very nice, that's the first sentence. The second sentence is everyone is extremely friendly. That's the second sentence, and you're going to be mat you're going to be connecting those two sentences with one word, either and or but. You have to decide which one you're going to be using and how you're going to be using it. Does that make sense? Yes, and I'm ready. Yes. Yes. Perfect. Okay. Um, I'm going to stop sharing for a moment. Okay. Um, actually, before before I put you into breakout rooms, what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to take attendance, okay? I think that's the best thing I can do right now. All right. So um, please open up your microphone um, as soon as you hear your name. And um, it, we're going in alphabetical order. And close it as soon as um, you finish saying present so that we can do this very quickly. That's that's the idea, okay? To try to do this as quickly as possible. Okay, here we go. Ada Veronica? Present. Great. Eh, Alexandra Jamilet eh, Garcia? No? Um, Alicia Perez Cavidia. Present teacher. Present. Excellent. Uh, Ana Maricela Flores. Present me. Great. Um, Brenda Claribel Mejia. 
It's me, teacher. Great. Cecilio Antonio Cortez. Present, Miss. Excellent. Um, Eugenio Ernesto Martinez. Eugenio Ernesto Martinez. Uh, Jacqueline Vanessa Quijada. Present, Miss. Okay. Gen uh, Jennifer Nauset um, Arevalo. Present, Miss. Great, thank you. Um, Juan Antonio Brand de Paz. Present, teacher. Excellent, thank you. Um, Catherine Andreina Perez. Present. Great, thank you. Uh, Catherine, Gise, uh, sorry, Giselle Bonilla. Present. Good evening. I'm here. I can listen. Perdón. Eh, no sé si, si, si habló. Así. She is Alexandra. Ok, just a second. Déjeme ver si puedo poner esto a la par. Para ver quién está hablando. Ok. Um, so, ok, estoy, um, estoy llamando a Catherine. Giselle Bonilla. Present teacher. Okay. Perfecto. Thank you. Catherine uh, Marielos Melendez. Present, Miss. Wonderful. Thank you very much. Lenin Hernandez Flores. Present, Miss. Beautiful. Uh, Luis Alfredo Aguilar. Present, Miss. Excellent. Thank you. Uh, Miguel Antonio Rodriguez. Hello, Miss. Wonderful. Okay. Uh, Nelson Eduardo Alfaro. Miss. Perfect. Noé Ezequiel Rivera. Present, Miss. Excellent. Norma Lisette Crespin. Norma, ¿no le está funcionando el micrófono? Tito, tráeme el cargador. Norma, eh, ¿se encuentra ahí? Ok. Um, Olivia Raquel Rodríguez. Presente. Excelente. Eh, Oscar Alexander Domínguez. I'm here, teacher. Excelente. Reina Isabel Martínez. Reina Isabel Martínez. Zaira Idalio Oviedo. And Silvia Esther Rivera. Okay, aquí presente. Okay, very good. So just, uh, just to make sure I didn't miss anybody, the people that I didn't hear are Alexander Jamilet Garcia, Eugenio Ernesto Martinez. Um, and eh, Reina Isabel Martinez and Zaira Idalia Oviedo. Is that correct? Uh, teacher Alexandra está en el centro. Estaba hablando, pero su micrófono no le funciona. Alexandra. Sí, buenas noches. Alexandra Jamilet. Eh, Zaira Oviedo, I am here también. Ah, ok, ok. Ya la vi, Zaira. Eh, ¿Es posible que encienda su cámara? Ok, ahí está. Ok, ya la veo. Eh, y Alexandra, no sé, si... no logro ver a Alexandra. I'm here. She is here. No, no sé. I'm typing in the Zoom chat. Ah, ya, ya, ya. Ya la This is the volume. 
Yes, I know. saw. Yes, I saw you. Okay, let me just change that. Okay, so the only people that were missing are is Eugenio Ernesto Martinez and Reina Isabel Martinez. Is that correct? Only those two people, right? Okay, I hope I'm hoping that it's only the two, the, the two of you. Okay, so uh, what I'll do then is now I'm going to send you in the WhatsApp group. Uh, the the exercise. Okay, do you have it? Do you see it? Yes, I have it. Yeah. Okay, so I need you to... Um, okay, so I'm going to put you guys into breakout rooms. Um, quiero asegurarme que todos estén ahí para participar porque no quiero poner a personas eh, en, un, en un grupo y que no estén allí y, y el, el compañero no pueda practicar. So I just want to make sure you're there. Alexander Jamilet, are you available? Alexander Jamilet, can you? Yes, you can participate. Good. Saira, can you participate? Eh, Miss, yo hablé con él. Eh, ahora me hablaron uh -huh. porque eh, estoy trabajando y también estoy estudiando. Entonces tengo la clase a la, tengo dos clases, una a las seis y la otra a las ocho. Entonces me dijo que podía conectarme y sin la cámara y sin el micrófono, solo de oyente. Okay, so you cannot participate. That's my question. Eh, no. Okay, perfect. Got it. Thank you. Um, uh, Oscar, Oscar Alexander, can you participate? Oscar, can you participate? I'm here. Okay, all right. So you, okay, good. Norma Lisette, can you participate? Okay, so you cannot participate, Norma. O sea, that's, eso, eso es lo que quiero saber para poder por saber si la, la pongo en un grupo o no. Okay, so that, that's all I, I, I just need to know that. Okay. Um, just one moment. Okay, bah, I see. So um, I'm going to put you guys into groups right now, and sorry, into pairs, and you're gonna work with a partner and try to uh, make the sentences, okay? So I'm opening the groups right now. Catherine and Alexandra entraron. Hello. ¿Qué pasó? ¿Los devolvió?
Hola. Hola. Eh, no sé qué pasó, no sé si me sacó. Ok, ahorita la, la voy a volver a, 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 a llevar al grupo. Bat, bat, digo yo. Pero tienen como market. No, no. And the number five. The food oh. is delicious. It's not too expensive. Eh, podría ser um, through. Five. Number five, eh? Yes. The food is Ah, yes. uh -huh. uh -huh. And number six. This thing I'm nice and city. Uh, and low people here. In Sí, it's, a, it's an amazing city and I love to go there. Mm -hmm. Para mí así sería. No, Pero number three, understand. El cuatro. I don't know. Uh -huh. Shopping is great. Uh, you have to bargain. Well, it's bargain. Bargain. Si gusta, no sé si lo puede buscar. Si puede buscar. Bargain. Es negociar. Ah, esto te enseña. Ah, y hablate. Sí, a ti te gusta negociar en el mercado. Sí, claro. No sé, pero yo sé que es el mercado. Sí, claro. ¿Para usted qué es? ¿Tiempo o qué banco? Es como un marketing, ¿verdad? Es como un anuncio, algo así, entiendo. Uh -huh. Entonces, tiene que negociar las market, market. So, try, to, try to keep it in English, okay? So that we can, it's more English. Okay. I don't know. And you have, no, La segunda es lo mismo, Alba. The street are crowded. Lo que estamos haciendo prácticamente es este, uniendo las dos oraciones por cualquiera de estas dos conjunciones, se llama esa, ¿va? creo yo. Very good, yeah. yeah. Just Just make sure that you're speaking in English, okay? So we can practice as much English as possible. Okay, teacher. The street at crowded. It's, it's easy to get around. Does it from... Uh, The and streets are crowded and is is this easy to get around? Easy. It's easy. <clears throat> What do you think? Number five. I think that is a uh, number five. Uh, this is uh, delicious. The food is delicious, comma, and it's not too expensive. Really? Right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Number six. 
Okay. I'll see you in the main room in a moment. Okay. Okay. See ya. It's um, it's not too expensive. And it's not too expensive. Yeah. Uh, the six, the number six. It's as I love it. And two. It's and two. It's an amazing city and I love to go to go there. Sí, sí están correctas. Ahí estamos bien con las seis. Ahí estamos. Solo tengo una pre, este una pequeña duda. En la número cuatro dijimos que era shopping is great, but o es and. No, eh, shopping okay. is great. You have to buy in the market. Eh, entiendo de que comprar es try, maravilloso. Try to, try to practice in English, guys. So speak it, or try only speaking in English. Eh, okay. Okay, teacher. Okay, teacher. I understand what the number four is shopping is great, but uh, you have to bargain in the market. Uh, say uh, we speak with the, with the sailors, with the vendors, the price eh, negociar el precio de las cosas ya yeah. so the answer is uh, but right to bargain shopping is great but you have to bargain uh, in the market yes right for example uh, we going to la tiendona and yeah. and I want a fruit. I want I want a fruit. I'm, and I I I am I can bargain the price in the in the market. But in the supermarket, no no bargain. The why the price is only one the price. Yeah. Hey. Yeah, but you can Okay, welcome back, everybody. We are going to be checking the answers. So please tell me if you can see my screen. Can you see my screen? Yes, Miss. Yes. Yes. Perfect. Yes. Okay, let's check then. Yep. The first one says, Taipei is very nice. Everyone is extremely friendly. How can we match, or sorry, how can we combine these two sentences using either and or but? And. Okay, yes, but how, how can we combine? No, so what are we gonna say? Mm -hmm. Uh, she is very nice and everyone is okay. extremely friendly. So Taipei is very nice. Huh? 
And everyone is extremely friendly. And everyone is extremely friendly. Do you agree with this? Does everybody agree with this? And with yes, this I agree. Idea? Sorry, teacher Fox. The war is everyone. Oh, sorry. Thank you. And everyone is extremely friendly. Yes. Okay, good. Something I didn't mention before, but I need to mention is that when you're adding a second idea, make sure you put a comma before and. Okay? The same thing with but. Put a comma before but. Sounds good, everybody? Okay, okay. Okay? Yes, I agree. All right, perfect. Next, the streets are crowded. It's easy to get around. The the street, it's uh, easy to get around thought. So the streets are crowded. It's easy to get around thought. Period, right? Okay. Period. It's easy. To get around, comma though don't don't forget about the comma. Okay. Is that pretty clear for everybody? Any well, questions? we can yeah. use uh, the at uh, how before it's easy, right? We can use the straight out um, product so it's like, easy to get around. Like this? Yes. Uh, like this? Yes. Uh, I yeah. think that. that yeah. Is you could, yes. 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 Very good. Yeah, you could say it. Though it's easy to get around. So you, you can decide where you're going to put the word though. Okay, as long as it's, it's though is at the beginning or at the end, but it cannot be in the middle. Okay, it's not like okay. like and 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 but it can be in the middle, and then but has to be in the middle, but though has to be either the beginning or at the end. Okay, sounds good so far. For me, it's good. I think the same. Okay, good. Next. The weather is nice. Summers get pretty hot. The weather is nice. Okay, the um, weather is nice. However, we'll however, okay. Summer gets pretty hot. However, Summers get pretty hot. Don't forget the comma after however. Okay. However, okay. summers get pretty hot. It, you remember that again, the same thing. The however it could be at the beginning or it can be at the end. Right? So it's also possible to say comma however. Okay, so the weather is nice, however, summers get pretty hot. Or the weather is nice, summers get pretty hot, however. Okay, it's up to you. You decide which one you're going to be using. Okay. And... Okay, and then the next one, shopping is great. You have to bargain in the market. Uh, shopping is great. But shopping. Sorry, sorry. Is great. Shopping is great, comma. Comma. But you have to bargain in the market. 
but you have to bargain not bargain but bargain oh sorry thank it's okay you. it's okay bargain bargain, bargain. Okay. Mm -hmm. in bargain the market what is bargain uh, negociar. negociar yeah eh, negociar eh, pedir rebajas okay in the Salvador siempre lo hacemos. Regatear <laughs> en buen salvadoreño. Ok. ¿Cuántas lo menos? ¿Ah? ¿Cuántas lo menos? <laughs> yes, exactly. Yeah. Ok. Next. Food is delicious. It's not too expensive. The food is delicious. The food Mama? is delicious. Comma. Comma. And it's not too expensive. And it's not it's not too expensive. Too expensive. Oh. Make it a like it's like a expensive. All right, good. And finally, the last one. Um, it's an amazing city. I love I love to go there. Uh -huh. It's um amazing city and I love to to go there. <clears throat> Amazing city and comma, right? Comma, and yeah. I love to go there. To go there. Bravo, guys. Excellent. Very, very good job. Okay. All right, guys. So that's going to be it for today. Okay. Um. So I'm going to just take attendance again very quickly, making sure that everybody is still here. Okay, so para que no nos um, tardemos demasiado, solo si oyen su nombre, me dicen rapidito eh, here y continuamos, okay? So, eh, so we're going to start um, Ada Verónica Muñoz. Present. Alexander Yamileta García. Alexander Jamile Garcia. No está. Ok. Uh, Alice, uh, Alexa, Alexander creo que es la que estaba teniendo problemas se vea con el micrófono. Pero tampoco la veo. Ok. Um, Alicia Pérez Cavidia. Present. Eh, Ana Marisela Flores. Ana Maricela Flores. Eh, Brenda Claribel Mejía. I'm here. Okay, very good. Cecilio Antonio Cortez. Present, Miss. Eugenio Ernesto Martínez. Jacqueline Vanessa Quijada. I'm here, Miss. Eh, Jennifer Nauset Arevalo. I'm here, Miss. Juan Antonio Brand. Here I am. Catherine Andreina Perez. I'm here. Catherine uh, Giselle Bonilla. I'm here. Catherine Marielos Meléndez. Catherine Marielos Meléndez. No está, Catherine. Ok, no está. Eh, Lenin Hernández Flores. Lenin Hernández Flores. Lenin. Hola, Lenin. Aquí estoy. Okay, here. Good. Thank you. Luis Alfredo Aguilar. I am here. Miguel Antonio Rodríguez. Miguel Antonio Rodríguez. Present, Miss. Perfect, thank you. Eh, Nelson Eduardo Alfaro. Right here. Okay, thank you. Noe Ezequiel Rivera. 
no es no es Ezequiel tampoco está uh, Norma dice Crespín Norma dice presente en el chat okay. All right, thank you. Uh, Olivia Raquel Rodríguez. I'm here. Excellent. Uh, Oscar Alexander Domínguez. I'm here. Okay. Uh, very good. Uh, Reina Isabel Martínez. Reina Isabel. Saray, sorry, Zaira Hidalgo Oviedo. Here. Okay. And uh, Silvia Esther Rivera. I'm here. Ok, perfecto. Bueno, chicos, eso sería todo. Entonces, uh, we will see each other tomorrow. And thank you very much for being patient with me um, at the beginning of the class that I couldn't connect. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Thank you. Ok. See you tomorrow. Bye. 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 See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, teacher. See you tomorrow. Bye.